Yeah. Not fake news. I think she's pooched. The motor has rotten out. Short story. Um, we were driving uh, a couple weeks ago to a car meet. We went to Z Nationals. It's a big, big, big Z slash G meet for really just any Nissan car in general. Um, it was at Z1 Motorsport. Car was running fine when I started it up the day before. Had oil, uh, had a, enough oil, and uh, drove it there. I think I've only did like maybe just one or two pulls. And after that, on the way back, drove it cruising, didn't do anything, you know, out of the ordinary, nothing crazy. And um, we parked it. And the next day came, the car just decided to <laughs> act a little strange. Got in the car, started it up, and in Z's, they have like this normal high, you know, it revs up a little bit before it slowly goes down. Usually Z's idle at like, 500 rpms or in between 500 to a thousand but it was really high at two and that's when i started hearing this very very light 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 ticking noise but i didn't take nothing of it i thought it was something normal it was kind of cold that day my cars made plenty of weird ticking noises that sound similar like when the exhaust touches the subframe or whatever so i took it as that but mm -hmm. it so started going heading out started driving and i noticed as we we're driving the noise was still there in the rpm range of one to about 4k rpms and i didn't think nothing of it still because i was just like uh, i don't know maybe it's just having a, it's having a, a moment so we go ahead and we stop at the gas station get gas turn off the car but as i turn off the car the ticking noise got really loud at 4k going all the way down to zero you know what my solution was my solution my solution was to keep driving and let's go get some chipotle because it, it'll settle itself out stupid anywho continue driving we get to chipotle and the noise went from ticking and slowly started getting I knew something was wrong. I and like before any of you guys go out here and say, you should check the oil. If you didn't check your oil, that's your fault, dude. The day before the Z Nationals meet, I made sure to add, not add, but I did a whole entire oil change. So that that should not have been even the case. I know how much oil my car burns. Every 800 miles, it burns about a quart. I know that Z1 is 45 minutes away from me, so I probably did less than 100 miles. There's no way unless I leaked all my oil out. It was pretty apparent that the car had rot knock it, it mm, here's the thing here's the thing let's let's take it back so i knew it was rot knock but it was strange it wasn't consistent it, it, it doesn't do it at idle but it literally only does it at 1k to about 4k rpms and then it disappears after that but i'm terrified so i after 4k it disappears but i'm not gonna go out here and just flame flame map slash shoot to eight 8k rpms so the ultimate decision was that we're gonna go from chipotle after hearing how loud it was i wish i would have recorded but i mean i was in shock it's been five long years of working with this car i've never had not one engine issue not one engine replacement and i know the time was coming the car hit 160k miles i bought it at 97k back in like 2016. i've heard about all these 200,000 k mile vqs some of them being rev ups and it's not like the motor was weak or, or going crazy or like had big signs it was going bad let's just say that after five long years of spending money on that car <laughs> the motor checked out <laughs> it's about to try to check me out you need to leave. trying to figure out what we're gonna do next i mean here's our biggest issue our first big problem So I have a 2006 350Z manual and that car in specific and some 2005 and I believe some 2005 G35s as well as the 06 G35 manuals only come with this motor called the rev up. And since it's a time slot of two, why did I do this for two? Stupid. But for two years, that motor only came out in a manual didn't come out in any of the automatics and only came out in their sport line cars. It makes the window of availability on the motor 
very, very difficult. It's pretty much a rare motor. How much does it cost? Oh, you can find a regular DE for about 300 in the junkyard, or you can find a thousand dollar one in a JDM port or off of a car that has low miles. Well, here's the thing. A rev up on average, it's about $3,000. It could have pretty much the same amount of miles as my car. And you're probably asking me, how do I know that? Well, that's because I looked one up. It was about 160K, rev up $3,500. And it's very stressful because my car is at 160 already itself. Why would I want to spend 3,000 on a motor, which can go out at any time, just like the motor I have right now. So it's making it very difficult to find a 350Z rev up motor. And that leads us to our next, uh, course of action. It sounds absolutely insane. All the people that just don't recommend it, but the second one is to uh, pretty much rebuild the entire motor since it did not shoot a rod to SpaceX. You're gonna have to spend at least 15 grand. I don't think that's absolutely true. I don't have all the knowledge for doing this, but I have a buddy of mine that has a boosted 350Z that ended up going out and spending a total of about five grand to get his car uh, built with forged rods and pistons. I could go the same route as well. It is a very difficult job. And if I mess up any part of that install, I may have just detonated $5,000. To my faith i will be doing something don't worry guys i'm not quitting you're not going to see it as a part out anywhere anytime soon or anything like that i'm not selling the car so please don't hit me up in my dms or in my comments saying how much because i'll just tell you i know what i got and i'm gonna tell you thirty thousand. it's been about a month and a half we haven't figured out what exactly we're going to do but we're gonna get there eventually we're gonna figure it out don't worry I'm not stopping anytime soon on posting but you guys will see me soon hope you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like and subscribe leave a comment if you have any questions or leave a comment if you have any suggestions i'll catch you guys in the next one and i'll see you later